Good evening and welcome to the Finance Subcommittee meeting of the Brockton School Committee for December 15th of 2020. Due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and state of emergency, on March 12th, 2020, Governor Baker issued an executive order temporarily suspending certain provisions of the Open Meeting Law, GL Chapter 30A, Section 20. Pursuant to the order, public bodies are temporarily relieved from the Open Meeting Law's requirement that meetings be held in public places, open and physically accessible to the public, so long as adequate measures are taken to ensure public access to the body's deliberations through adequate alternative means. This meeting will be held and will be accessible to the public by a Brockton Community Access, Brockton Public Schools website, www.bpsma.org, YouTube, and Comcast Channel 12. The public can access this meeting via this link, www.youtube.com forward slash the Brockton channels. Okay. First, we will uh, take a roll call to establish a quorum. Mayor Sullivan. Here. Okay, D'Agostino is here. Ms. Asak. Here. Mrs. Mendez. Here. Mr. Minicello. Mr. Rodriguez. Here. Here. Mrs. Sullivan. Here. Um, Mr. Sullivan. Yeah. Okay. We have a quorum. We're ready to rock and roll. All right. So this evening for finance, um, we have two items on the agenda. The first is the discussion of the executive director of equity, diversity, and inclusion position, um, and then uh, any other business to come before finance. <clears throat> so. Um, and uh, I'd like to um, I'd like to ask um, Mrs. Mendez, you're the as the chair of our uh, uh, diversity equity uh, diversity equity race and inclusion subcommittee. Um, if you wanted to uh, lead us in the discussion on this matter. Yes, of course. So I wanted to give some background information of the Nellie May Education Foundation. So they um, funded us for the first year to be able to go, go along and form um, the direct, the, the Office of Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion. So they're a public charity focused on education and they've provided the funds financial support to schools and districts in Connecticut and Massachusetts with large numbers of black and brown children in their families that have been heavily impacted by COVID-19. So the way Brockton Public Schools is going to use the Nellie Mae funds is as seed money to establish its planned Office of Diversity, Equity and Inclusion, specifically for a portion of the year one salary as the director of the DEI. And then the district is gonna fund his or her fringe benefits in year one and fund the entire salary and benefits of the DEI director and staff going forward. So, to, um, so on Tuesday, December 9th, um, the, the, the subcommittee diversity, race, equity, and inclusion met and a motion was made by Mr. Minincello to forward the position of executive director of the Office of Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion for approval to finance subcommittee. And that was seconded by Mr. Rodriguez. And it was voted to approve the motion on, anon on anonymous. So vote is to allocate 120 to 140,000 for this position. 130 to 150,000 for this position. My apologies for that. Okay. Thank you. Um, is there uh, any questions or comments uh, from Mrs. Mendez um, regarding this matter? All right. um, Superintendent Thomas, did you want to? Sure. Um, right thank you, Mr. Diaz. You know, thank you, um, Ms. Mendez, for um, the presentation. I want to thank your committee um, for the support of this position. And also, um, now that it's in front of the Finance Committee, I appreciate um, 
the, the committee's uh, consideration for this most important position uh, for the school district and also for the city. Um, I think it's a position that is really going to um, move our work forward. Uh, I want to thank Sharon Wolder again and Karen Watts for their hard work on uh, turning this grant around quickly and also for the work that Sharon's been doing with her um, equity, diversity, and inclusion task force that has laid out a lot of the uh, professional development in the district around equity and inclusion, equity, diversity, and inclusion, and also the work uh, she's doing with um, Manuel Fernandez and Amina Pilgrim for the PD work that they're doing with our educators. Um, and then the work that's been going ongoing now um, with the diversity task force for you know, the past few years. So um, I think this office will really springboard us forward, uh, continue this, the most important work of equity, inclusion, and diversity with our, with our staff and students. And, um, you know, I think the sky's the limit with this position and this office as it grows over the next three to five years. And um, it's really going to help drive the district work and really focus the district on um, obviously social injustice and everything related to equity, diversity, and inclusion. Great, thank you, Superintendent. Thank you, Mrs. Mendez. Um, you know, I'm glad that, I'm, I'm thrilled that we got this grant. As the Superintendent said, this is really uh, important work for our district uh, to be moving forward, and this grant certainly will help us do that. Uh, and and um, a big piece of that, of course, is funding this position. Um, and, and that'll really help guide the work. Um, so I want to thank uh, Sharon Walder and Karen um, Watts as well, uh, again, for their work on the grant. I also want to thank um, our subcommittee, uh, Mr. Minicello and Mr. Rodriguez, and of course, Mrs. Mendez, um, for everything they've been doing to um, get this, to, to work on this. Um, you know, and uh, I, I especially want to thank Mrs. Mendez. You're in your first year on the committee, and um, we kind of asked you to take this and run with it and uh, you're doing a great job. So, um, you know, to be, you know, new to the committee and then asked to lead such an important, uh, um, you know, such important work. I, I appreciate that you were willing to step up and run with it. Um, and here we are already with some results. So that's great. Um, so, um, well, we basically need a motion to approve if there's no other comments. Does anybody want to comment before we take, consider a motion? I just wanted to say thank you. <laughs> but I, I can do a motion. A motion to allocate 130 to 150,000 um, for this position of the Executive Director of Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion. As this year, the Nellie May funds will cover it, but we would continue to allocate the funds moving forward. The motion on the floor, do we have a second? Isn't it, excuse me, I have a question. Yes. Um, wasn't it 120 to 150,000? So I, I, sorry, I said 120 to 140 first, and I had, I was mistaken. It was 130 to 150. Okay. Yeah, right. um, Ms. Solomon, I can jump in. That's my mistake. Um, I looked back over um, executive director starting salaries and I was $10,000 short. It's 130 was the starting to 150 for that's the range that um, I have to um, hire for that position based on experience, obviously, and uh, the person's resume. So that was my fault. I, I gave the wrong amount to uh, vice chair, uh, Mr. D'Agostino of the, the bottom figure was should have been 130, not 120. So my apologies. And I then Jennifer, and gave the wrong amount to Mrs. Mendez. So I apologize for that. <laughs> Okay, and then we're just voting this in for the one year with the grant. The grant will cover it. Right, we have, is that correct, Mike? We have the grant to cover it for this year. Yeah, and then we would, then this position, we would obviously put into um, our budget for next year, and then you would actually have to vote on it again as um, stay in our budget moving forward, like we would do in any position um, with our FY22 budget. Okay, so we would review it and then vote in again the next year. Correct. Yeah, because it would, you know, it's a new office and would probably um, look to if, you know, if obviously if money comes available through the Student Opportunity Act, um, there's a really good chance that Nellie May would 
would um, fund us again, but we would look to grow the office. So that would be part um, of our budget discussions going through um, obviously the first year into early spring. Okay, yep, thank so. you. Yep. Thank you. So I second the motion then. Great. Um, all right, so we have a motion on the floor, properly seconded. Does anybody want to comment on the motion, Mayor? Look like you were, did you unmute? Yeah, no, I just I just wanted to, first of all, say that this is a, a truly uh, invaluable position. We need this. Uh, we'll always come up with the money um, to be able to fund it. Um, and at the end of the day, it's, it's like a position that we always have in the budget. So there'll be a process in place. We've already started, although myself, Troy and Mike, looking at FY22. Uh, but again, I just, uh, I just think that this is uh, long overdue, and I want to thank everybody for the efforts on this. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. I, I fully agree. Um, you know, this just makes sense for our district. It's um, so I'm glad we're able to do this. And, and again, you know, it's like all the any other position, something we will have to uh, plan for um, in, in future budgets. But we're uh, blessed to have this grant to get this going. So that's wonderful. Um, all right. Um, is there any any other discussion on the motion? All right. I'm going to call the roll then. Uh, Mayor Sullivan. Yes. Okay, D'Agostino is a yes. Uh, Ms. Asak? Yes. Mrs. Mendez? Yes. Mr. Minicello? Mr. Rodriguez? Yes. Mrs. Sullivan? Yes. Okay, motion to, for a favorable, the fa motion for a favorable recommendation to the committee carries. Uh, you missed one, Mr. Vice Chair. Yes, go ahead. Oh, this one. Ken Sullivan. Oh, yeah. I thought I called you. I checked you off and then I didn't call your name. I'm no, so sorry, called. Mr. Sullivan. <laughs> you called Judy. Didn't get me though. And I, like I said, I checked you I'm off and everything. <laughs> well, <laughs> Mr. Sullivan, for the record. Are you a yes? Yes. Okay. All right. I apologize. Sorry about that. All right. Great. Um, I have one item of other business, more of an informative thing. Um, the uh, um, I know that the the, the um, uh, Troy Clarkson and the mayor have worked out the schedule right for the city side budget for next year, um, and the superintendent and Aldo and I have a Zoom scheduled for um, is that this Thursday, Mike? Yes, this Thursday, um, and we'll be looking to pretty much closely follow the city side budget process, but um, you know, we wanted to come up with some hard dates and deadlines. And um, so once the, the, we have that discussion, we'll get that out to the rest of the finance committee so that you have it and we can start uh, to have those discussions for next year. Um, is there any other business to come before finance at this time? All right, seeing none, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn finance. Motion to adjourn finance. Second. All right. Motion to adjourn by Mrs. Sullivan, properly seconded by Mrs. Mendez. I'll call the roll. Mayor Sullivan. Yes. D'Agostino is a yes. Ms. Azak. Yes. Mrs. Mendez. Yes. Mr. Minicello. Mr. Rodriguez. Yes. Mrs. Sullivan. Yes. Mr. Sullivan. Yes. I got to that time. <laughs> okay, we are adjourned and we will reconvene uh, at 6.30 for policy. <laughs>